And welcome, fans, to yet another exciting version of Maricosta High School Football. Hi, fans. I'm Chris Lee, alongside, as always, with Jeremy Stasky, and we are here to bring you exciting high school football action as we are here live in South Torrance, California, as your Maricosta Mustangs are taking on the home squad, South Torrance Spartans. Of course, earlier on this season, we saw the Mustangs' overall winning streak uh, during the regular season snapped, but we still have one more winning streak active. Jeremy, what is that winning streak, and why does tonight play an important role into that game? Well, Chris, the Mustangs are currently riding a 22 straight Bay League game winning streak as they enter tonight's contest versus the South Torrance Spartans, which make the jump up to the Bay League from the Pioneer League. It'll be interesting to see what the Mustangs can do because they had such a tough preseason schedule. They should be ready for Bay League action. As the Mustangs continue to make adjustments offensively and defensively with the loss of recent key players, Jeremy, what can we expect the Mustangs to do tonight specifically against South Torrance? Are we going to see anything different? Or are we going to see that same combination of the passing and running? Well, Chris, I definitely expect to see a, a, a lot of number 31 uh, running back, Britt Nertman, as well as uh, the passing attack, of course, that, as you know, is featured by number 85, Kevin Kelly, the receiver, and led by number nine, Eric Esparza. As for S South Torrance, they feature a running attack led by number 20, Devon Brown, who has 468 yards, averaging 6.8 yards per carry and nine rushing touchdowns. Should be a good challenge for the Mustangs tonight. Of course, the Mustang captains are on the field. Britt Nerman, Eric Esparza, J.D. Casillo and, and K.C. Lawrence. Of course, Britt Nerman leading the team in touchdowns with seven on this young season. Britton has definitely found a, a niche in getting into the end zone. What about defensively, team? What can we expect from the Spartans' defense? Are they an aggressive rushing team? Do they sit back and play a zone defense? What can you tell us, Jeremy, about tonight's Spartans' defense? Well, Chris, I'd expect a lot of pressure up front by the Spartans' defense. As you're, you're well aware of, uh, one of our former coaches' sons is a South Torrance Spartan, and that's, uh, of course... Timberlake, Kyle Timberlake that is, son of Bob Timberlake, our old offensive line coach. So we'll see if the sophomore defensive lineman will make his presence known here in this game. And of course uh, his father, Bob Timberlake, also the uh, instructor at Maricosta High School for many years. And the Spartans are now taking the field South, of course, pumped up for tonight's contest. Everybody loves Friday night football. And the Mustangs are on the sidelines and ready to go. We are now prepared for the opening kickoff in tonight's high school action. Mustangs set for the kickoff. Mustangs in the away whites and south in the home greens. And the kick is taken short and downed immediately by one of the Upman for south. Smart play as uh, the Upman don't typically get a chance to return the ball. And South Torrance is opening on offense. First possession of tonight's game. And we see a handoff. South running the option play left, hands it to the first back through, and that is number 42 for South, Demi Malimba. South now on a second down and nine play. 
quarterback in shotgun. That's Adam Baker. And play is stopped dead. Looks like there may have been motion on the offense. Let's get the call from the officials. And indeed it is. Illegal motion against the offense. That's going to cost out five. Second down now and 14 for the Spartans. Coast's defense trying to put pressure on the offensive line. There's the snap. And a quick throw out to the left-hand side. Complete to number eight, Kyle Flynn. Kyle gets a nice yardage. Good quick pass by Adam Baker, South's quarterback. Baker's 6'3", so he uh, definitely has a height advantage that most quarterbacks in the high school game don't have. His tall frame may help him see over that defensive line. Here's the big third down play. He goes deep middle and the pass falls incomplete. Just out of the outstretched hands of Kyle Flynn, trying to make his second reception of tonight's contest, but he's not able to do it. Pass ball is incomplete, fourth down and 10. And there's the snap. Short punt, fielded rather dangerously by uh, Britton Urban out there. Britton may have been wiser just to let that one bounce because he really didn't have much of a chance to field it. But he makes the uh, diving grab, downs the ball, Mustangs first down and 10. Mustangs first possession of tonight's contest. And they open with the handoff to Britton Ehrman who is stopped immediately. Britton got nothing on the play at all. It's coming up second down and 10 for the Mustangs. Mustangs opening in good field position. Let's see if they can take advantage. And off goes to Britton again. Britton gets some nice yardage on that play. Finally spun down after a nice game. It's going to bring up third down now for the Mustangs. Third down and short. We'll call it third and two. And there's the QB keeper, Eric Esparza, with a big push right up the middle by the offensive line. Great job by the Hogs in front, getting more than enough for the first down. First and 10, Mustangs. Big third down conversion, keeping the ball in great field position for Maricosta. And handoff goes to Britton Urban again, tries to cut it up the middle, but he stopped immediately by the linebacking crew of the Spartans. Got about two yards on the play. It's giving up second down and eight. Quarterback is Sparza in eye formation. Steps back and gets the quick pitch to uh, Britton. Britton cuts left, able to turn the corner and finally knocked out of bounds. Nice run by Britton Ehrman. Jeremy, what happened on that play? Well, Chris, the Mustangs faked the handoff up the middle to the fullback and then with the quick pitch out to Britton Ehrman, great little change of pace by the Mustang offense. A new little wrinkle into the offense just for the Bay League play. Mustangs driving here, hoping to get uh, some something on the scoreboard early on as it's Britt Nerman on the right-hand side this time. Quarterback is Sparza, under center, takes a snap and hands off to Erdman again. Britton trying to turn that corner, fights his way down to just about the end zone. He almost got in, but he stopped one yard short. It's first and goal for Maricosta. And it's quarterback Esparza on the QB keeper. Looks like he's in. In fact, he is. Touchdown, Mustang. Again, Chris, we see the quarterback keeper work to perfection. Once again, that has been a very effective play for the Mustangs as it's hard to stop quarterback Eric Esparza once he starts going forward. And it's been an effective play for Maricosta for quite some time, ever since AC Sintani. And the Mustangs with the lead, 7-0 after the successful point after attempt by Joe Houston. And now Mustangs on the kickoff. South Charter turns right up the middle, but it stopped immediately. Nice job by the Mustangs defense. 
not only was quarterback A.C. Santani good at the quarterback sneak, but he also has a Maricosta record for touchdown passes at five in a game and a little-known record that he had nine touchdown passes his first two varsity games. Now back to tonight's contest. South on the pitch play gets stopped immediately. In fact, for a loss by the Mustangs defense on the uh, option left. Nice job by the Mustangs. Second down and 11 for South. Mustangs showing blitz. And the blitz is on, but stopped nicely by South. Still under pressure though. Mustangs have a chance to get to him and finally do. That was a great play by number 66, Justin Reese, as he just will not be denied and ends up getting the sack of the quarterback. Reminds me of another 66 that used to play for the Mustangs, and that's a Ryan Stoney Stonebreaker, who did an excellent job for the Mustang defense back in 1990. Third down and even longer now for the South Spartans. That one moved another yard or two back. It's third down and I'm going to call it 14. South's quarterback trying to run the hard count. On the play action play, he rolled right through right and the ball popped loose. Incomplete right. That brings it to fourth down now. Fourth down punting situation for the Spartans. And uh-oh, fumble on the play. And looks like South Torrance recovered the football. Again, it was another short punt that was really giving a return specialist uh, Britt Nerman uh, problems back there. Tried to feel that one, but could not come up with the handle. Again, just like that previous punt return, perhaps should have just let the ball bounce and either play it off the bounce or let South down it. But instead, Britton tried to make the big play and cost the, the turnover by the Mustang. South would take over first and 10. South's first down play runs right up the right-hand side. That's Carl Lakovic. For about four yards, second down now and six. As the play is stopped dead. We're here in the first quarter with your Mustangs leading this contest seven to nothing. Penalty against the Spartans, it's going to repeat second down. Second down play for the Spartans. Three receiver set, man in motion. Drop back and the pass goes to the man in motion. There was Kyle Flynn on the reception. Kyle already with two receptions in tonight's contest for the Spartans. However, we stopped quickly by the Mustangs defense, bringing up a third down and five situation for the Spartans. South on the pitch right. Couple of nice moves out there by South's tailback, able to work his way forward. Going to be just short of the first down, though. It's going to be fourth down play for the Spartans. Fourth down and about two. And South is going to go for it here early in the first, I'm sorry, early in the first half. South on the big fourth down play and they look like they got it. That was Devon Brown on the carry and Devon made just enough moves to get that first down. Big play, gutsy play call early on in this contest by South's coaching staff. Earns them a first down and 10. Kyle Flynn in motion, and it's the option play, and the ball goes to the first back through again. That's Dini Marlinbaum. Dini, the six foot, 225 pound senior fullback. Go, Costa! A definite threat on that option play. Three receiver set, man in motion, and the ball goes 
Hand it off to the man in motion, but he's stopped quickly by the Mustangs defense. Justin Reese involved on that play. As we see the, the quick handoff, usually that man in motion just runs right on through, but South trying to get a little uh, tricky play going out there. Hand it off to the man in motion, but the Mustangs defense was not fooled at all. Third down and long situation now for the Spartans, as that brings us to the end of the first. Remember fans to log on to fanspointofview.com, the website where you can find out more about your favorite professional athletes. And remember fans, you can also order your favorite sports memorabilia all on fanspointofview.com. And welcome back to the second quarter of action as South opens up now with possession and runs the ball right up the middle. Only gets about three yards on the play. It's going to bring up a fourth and short situation. Kind of figures this time South is going to go for it. Spartans now on the big fourth down play, and they get the first down and more. That was their big running back, Devon Brown, with the nice run up the middle, got the first down, first down, and goal now, Spartans. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quarterback Baker, in shotgun, throws out the right-hand side, has it complete, but tackled nicely by Kevin Kelly. Here's the completion of Kyle Flynn. Kyle with his third reception of tonight's contest. But Kevin Kelly, not fooled at all in the play, made a great solo tackle, preventing Flynn from getting into the end zone. Nice job by the wide receiver, Kelly. Now Baker on the rollout, throws right, and just threw it away. Had no one out there. Nice job by the interior pressure of the Mustangs defense. Of course, the fans looking for the uh, the uh, penalty on the quarterback. But the flag did not come. Instead, South now on third and goal. Tries to run up the middle, but nothing doing as Devon Brown was stopped nicely after about a one yard gain. Fourth down again for the Spartans. Their, their third time going for it on fourth down in tonight's contest. They're going to take a timeout on this one, though, and discuss this play. Their third time going on fourth down, and we're just barely into the second quarter. Isn't that amazing, Jeremy? Yeah, Chris, I would agree. But when you're that close to the goal line and you have a shaky field goal kicker, you got to go for it on fourth down. Well, that's what they do, and the handoff goes to Brown right up the middle. It's going to be close. It looks like he may have got it. It's going to be close, though. Let's see what the official says. And he didn't. He fell just short. Great job here again by the Mustangs defensive front, led by number 66, Justin Reese, stopping the Spartans on fourth down. Devon Brown does not get his 10th touchdown. Of course, uh, Stuart Stackerwick involved in that play also. Mustangs take over now. It's first and 10. Handoff goes to Britton Ehrman, and Britton is stopped immediately right up the middle. It's going to bring up second down and 10 now for the Mustangs. They got about one yard. They give him second and nine. And Hanoff again goes to Ertman, who's again meet, met immediately. South looks like they're definitely keying up on the run, as I don't believe we've seen a pass completion yet. By Eric Esparza, let's see if the Mustangs go to the air now on third down. In fact, they do. And oh, dropped 
was uh, the pass by Bruce Robinson. Bruce was open on the right-hand side. Bruce, who's been having a wonderful season for the Mustangs, not able to come up with that one, though, and it brings up a fourth down punting situation. And Joe Houston gets off a great punt. Finally rolls out of bounds. Joe was standing in the back of the end zone and gets that punt across midfield and down out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Great punt by Joe Houston. And South now on shotgun formation fakes the pitch out to the left and throws deep left but well behind his intended target nice job on coverage by the Mustang second and and ten for the Spartans quarterback Baker was lined up ready for the play but the officials are ready now so quarterback Baker I formation left on the option play decides to keep it himself and is stopped quickly by the Mustangs defense. So, wow, seeing that option play reminds me of number seven, Jeff Daisa. Back when the Mustangs ran an option attack under head coach Larry Petrol. Match in 1990 was the first Mustang team to ever win a playoff game. But back to tonight's contest, we got a screenplay going on, and it's not going anywhere. Wide receiver screen in the middle of the field, but the Mustangs read it beautifully. South lost big time yardage on the play. Great job, Mustangs. Speaking of that 1990 team, um, Coach Larry Petrol was the only head coach to make it each year to the playoffs that he is head coach of the Mustangs. And Britt Newman again having problems fielding those puns. Britton's either got to start job, stepping up another uh, 10 yards, 10 yards on these punt returns, or has to make some sort of adjustment because all three punt returns he's uh, not fielded cleanly. Britton having a tough time reading this uh, punter's leg movement here, and Britton now trying to make up for it on offense. Does exactly that, gets a big run. Starting on the right-hand side and cut it up the middle of the field, gets first down yardage. Nice 14-yard run by Britton Urban. First down at 10, Mustangs. Hand off this time to the first back through. And that's Probosco on that one. Alex with the carry on. First down, got good yardage, got about five yards. It's gonna bring up second down now for the Mustangs. Mustang set up now, second down play. Quarterback Esparza takes his hat, pants off to Britton Erman on the right hand side. Britton with the nice burst, powers his way forward and muscles a few extra yards, more than enough to get the first down. Nice nine yard run by Britton Ehrman. It's gonna bring up now first down and 10, but there's a flag on the play. And it's holding against the Mustangs. That will negate the first down yardage gain on the play and put the Mustangs back further now. Second and long for the Mustangs. Herbert Kasparza with a nice nifty move to avoid trouble. Works free and oh, had a man. Trying to hit him on the run, but just falling short on the pass by Esparza to his intended target, Bruce Robinson. Third down and long now for the Mustangs. Herbert Kasparza, information. Drop state back and hands off on the draw play to most likely Britton Ehrman. In fact, it is Britton, but Britton met immediately. Lost about two yards on the play. Fourth down punting situation now for the Mustangs. Penalties hurt that drive. 
as Joe Houston punts and kicks it out of bounds. It's going to be spotted at the 32-yard line. Appears to be a bad spot by the official. I thought that went out around the 20. Not only, it is, I guess it's tough lights to deal with out here tonight at Spartan Field. And the Spartans take over first and, and 10, but the running play right up the middle, and it's met quickly by the Mustangs defense. About two yards gain on the play. It's coming up second and F8 for the Spartans. South now on the second and eighth play. Three receivers set, two high, high backs. And the back, second back through, number 20, Demar Brown, tries to cut on the right-hand side. Met again quickly by the Mustangs defense. Justin Reese involved in that play, as well as this time linebacker, Eric Esparza. Third down and long now for the Spartans. Here's the shotgun play, and the throw is on the right-hand side and caught. More than enough for the first down. Good tackle by Stewart immediately. But the reception is made by Carl Lekovic. More than enough for the first down. Got about 21 on the pass play. But it looks like there may have been Penalty on the Spartans as the officials are marking, marking this one back. In fact, there was a motion penalty against the Spartans. That one's got to hurt South's coaching staff. After a big pass play, that one comes back. Third down and 13 now for the Spartans. Oh, Mustang's under pressure. And South able to complete it again. This time to the left side. And that one also good enough for the first down, but there may have been another penalty against the Spartans. They're waiting for the word from the officials, and it, indeed it is. And this time it's holding against the Spartans. Two big third down pass completions by itself, taken back by penalties. That one's got to be killing the coaching staff right now. Jeremy, you coach, you know how frustrating penalties can be. What What are you thinking when you're a coach and you see two big plays negated like that? Well, Chris, those are just heartbreakers, especially when you're able to convert on third down and then have it taken away, setting up a third down and 23. And there's not many plays in the playbook for third down and 23. Let's see if South can find one here. Quarterback in Shaka, and there's the snap. Baker is looking right and throwing right and almost intercepted. Great job, Stuart Stackowick out there. Stuart with a great job to knock that pass down, creating a fourth down and 23 for the Spartans. South set up for the punt. There's a snap and the punt. This time, finally, a little bit better punt. This one would have been the first one that that uh, Britton Irwin would have been able to return. But it looks like he took my advice and moved up on that play. Let the ball bounce. And Costa will take over on downs. First and 10 Mustangs. Handoff goes to Britton Irwin on the right hand side and fights his way forward. Gets a good push at the end of that play. Got a couple uh, extra yards. Second down and about four for the Mustangs. This time it's the pitch to Britt Nerman. Britton turns the corner and solo tackled on the left hand side but Got more than enough for the first down. Two big runs to open up this drive by Britt Nerman. Of course, we're here in the second quarter, and your Mustangs lead this contest 7 to nothing. 
four receivers set. Bruce Robinson in motion. There's a fumble on the snap. It looks like Esparza was able to regain possession. Although South is arguing that they, as, as they're walking away with the ball, trying to argue that they had the ball on the ground. But the officials not taking any part of that one. Ruling Mustang possession, second down play now for the Mustangs. As there is a timeout on the field, only 40 seconds remain here in the second quarter. Come on, Eric. Mustangs trying to see if they can add a few more points here before the end of the half. On, and the handoff goes to Britt Nerman. Britton running up the middle. Stopped at midfield. Ooh, conservative play calling for the Mustangs. A little surprised at that. 40 seconds is a good amount of time, certainly enough to get into Joe Houston field goal range. Joe Houston, of course, the Mustangs point after attempt and field goal kicker has been excellent all year long. Mustangs now on the third down play. Third down and about seven. Quebec Esparza back to pass. He's looking middle and now he's under pressure. He's rolling left and he's finally chased out of bounds. Well short on the first down. There is a flag on the play and it's against the Mustangs. That's not going to help anybody. 19 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. And Mustangs now with a third down and long situation. Of course, the Mustangs at this point just looking to run out the rest of the clock. And timeout South. Kind of an interesting call. South hoping to at least get a chance to uh, see what they can do on a return play. Only five seconds remain here in the uh, first half. South calling a timeout, you gotta figure they want a chance to do something, so the Mustangs not even to give them that chance. Decide to find the QB keeper. Smart play by the Mustangs coaching staff. That one brings this game to the end of the first half. Your Mustangs lead this contest seven to nothing. Remember fans to log on to fanspointofview.com. The website where you can find out more about your favorite professional athletes. And remember fans, you can also order your favorite sports memorabilia all on fanspointofview.com. Back to the second half of action as your Maricosta Mustangs are leading the South Town Spartans by the first half score of seven to nothing. Jeremy, the Mustangs were able to jump on the scoreboard, but we've seen some penalties and a turnover affect this game so far. What can we expect from the second half? Will the Mustangs pull out or will this one stay a nail bite? Well, Chris, as you're well aware of, the Mustang coaching staff is known for their defensive and offensive adjustments at halftime. And the defense is rolling right along, shutting out the Spartans so far in the first half. As far as the offense is concerned, I would expect them to pick it up in the passing attack and to continue the ground assault with number 31, Britt Nertman. It'll be interesting to see if the Mustangs do go to the air a little bit more in the second half. Mustangs so far this se season have been pretty balanced. Tonight, however, they've been definitely a lot heavier on the run side than the pass side. Let's see if that trend continues in the second half. Mustang players ready to take the field.
The officials are set. The Spartans are set. And the Mustangs are set. And so is the coaching staff as we see them being lifted high above the ground to get that bird's eye view of the contest. Britt Nerman and Kevin Kelly set to return. And there's the kick. It's a low bouncer. Dangerous play taken by Britt Nerman. Britt tries to return middle, but almost gets his head ripped off. Tackled almost immediately. It's going to bring up first down and 10 for the Mustangs. Mustangs opening possession of the second half. And off goes to Britton right up the middle, but he's, I'm sorry, that was Stewart out there. Britton apparently a little shaken up on that uh, return play. I thought there was a face mask, it looked like to me on that play. His head twisted pretty uh, pretty severely out there, but Britton looks like he's okay. He's got the helmet wrapped back on, he's ready to go. But Stewart, still with the carry. Britain's set to return, but coaching staff deciding to keep Stewart in there for now. Going to bring up a third down and short situation for the Mustangs. As it looked like one of the South players was having a helmet malfunction. Third down and two for the Mustangs. Quarterback Esparza leading the troops up to the line of scrimmage. High formation and the handoff goes to the tailback. Looked like that's still Stewart out there. Oh, that's Britt Nerman back in the game. Just shy of the first down brings up fourth down and one for the Mustangs. Coaching staff playing it conservative here, going to punt the ball with the lead, 7-0 here in the third quarter. And a big punt and a big hit as the Mustangs defense being aggressive on the, the punt team. Jeremy, what happened? Well, Chris, as we get another look at this punt, you see number 20, Zach Heiler, just come in and declete the South Torrance. Walker, and then to make it a perfect play for him, he finishes off the tackle. What a great job by number 20, Zach Heiler. South Torrance now on their first possession of the second half. Of course, South has been shut out offensively thus far tonight by the Mustangs defense. South hands off on the right hand side, but trying to cut back the South's running back. That's Devon Brown. Bad mistake as he lost yardage on that cutback attempt. It's going to bring up second down now and 11 as he lost a yard on the play. South now on the second and 11. There's a fake handoff, play action fake. And the pass goes out to the right hand side, but falls incomplete. Great job on coverage by Kevin Kelly, who creamed the intended target out there. Nice aggressive play by Kevin, bringing up a third down and 11 now for the Spartans. Spartans go back Baker now on the Play action up there up to the uh, tight end. There's like a tight end middle screen play going on. Flag against the Spartans. Nice tackle by number two, Trevor Koppel on that play as he gets up excited. Getting into the action here as we have another holding play against the Spartans. And you know those Spartan coaches must be pulling out their hair as they continue, oh, oops, the referee made a missed call. It was against the Spartans. So when all is said and done, it's still fourth down, punting situation for the Spartans. 
Mustangs to take over on downs. And Britt Berman with the fair catch on that one, playing it safe. Britton's had some struggles back there on the punt return, decided to play it safe on that one, just call it the fair catch, make the clean catch, and let the offense take over first down and 10. And Britton gets a chance, first down and 10 right up the middle, but he's met immediately by the South Interior defensive lineman. Britton was able to spin his way forward for at least one yard, but it brings up a second down and nine for the Mustangs. Britton now on the second down carry, pounds his way forward. Looked like a bulldozer on that play, just tucked the head down and ran full speed. Picked up about three on the play, gonna bring up third down and five for the Mustangs. Double receiver set. And the handoff this time goes to Stewart. And in on there on third down, Stewart definitely getting some carries in tonight's contest. Trying to give Britton a chance to uh, recoup some energy, getting ready for the what could be an important fourth quarter in tonight's contest. South now on the return. Return specialist. Carl Lekovic able to get a nice return up there. Got about 17 on the return. It's going to bring up first down and 10 for the Spartans with the ball spotted at the 45. South now on the pass. Straight drop back looking middle and throwing middle and had a, a big target. Rob Hooks robbed the 6-3 tight end. Shooting straight down the middle, but the pass falls incomplete. The ball bounces on the ground. Mustangs come up with a uh, huge defensive stop there. Second down now for South. And another big defensive stop. That was Tim Mobley again out there, as well as Bruce Robinson. Nice job with the immediate tackle. Bringing up a third down now for South. Third and long for the Spartans. Quarterback Baker, back to pass, six right, through his right, and completes right. It's gonna be close with the first down, looks like he may have it. Nice job by the Spartans. In fact, he does, first down and 10 south on the pass completion. South now on the running play. South not able to get anything going on the running game. The Mustangs run defense has been stellar tonight. Not allowing a single big run in this contest. Second down and nine now for the Spartans. Hand off again, and again, South gets nothing. Only got about two yards on that play. Third down and about six for the Spartans. South on the play action fake. Quarterback Baker looks middle, and did he come up with it? Oh, he did. Great catch. That was Rob Hooks, the big... 6'3", 225 pound senior tight end. Using all of that 6'3 frame to come down with that one. That one looked like the uh, claw Scott Letourneau on that play. As uh, Rob Hooks comes up with the, with the big hook, completing that pass. First down and 10 Spartans. Instead of a claw, he's got a hook. And the run play barely completing the handoff. Quarterback Baker had to really reach out to uh, hand that one off to Michael Gonzalez. Play worked for only about a one yard. Second down and nine for the Spartans. Quarterback Baker now under center. And Baker takes the snap and makes the quick pass. 
out to number eight, Kyle Flynn. Kyle makes a couple nice moves and finally brought down by the Mustangs defense. Kyle's definitely the primary wide receiver in South's offense. And that play worked good enough for the first down. It's like first down and 10 from the 14. South now on the uh, option play, option middle. That was number nine, Danny Bumback to carry. Only got about one yard on the play. It's going to be up second down and a long hit. South now under center. Baker with the fake pitch. Steps back, throws middle, and oh, somehow almost completed that one. Mustangs defense batted that one away, but there's a flag on the play. And it's against the Mustangs secondary. Britt Nerman back there, and he was visibly upset by the official's call. Felt that that one was a clean play, but either way, the Spartans take over now. First and goal. And with the pass play out to the right-hand side, almost complete. Kyle Flynn with the diving attempt, but the pass falls short. Second down and goal now for the Spartans. Ball spotted at the five. There's the pitch out to running back Brown, who is not gonna go anywhere in this play. Bruce Robinson involved in that one. Not the entire Mustang defense involved on that one. Brown lost yardage, third down and goal now, but now from the seven yard line. Huge third down play for the Mustangs defense. Kodak Baker rolling right. He's scrambling, he's gonna keep it, he has a hole. He dives and he dives in for the touchdown. Great scramble play by the quarterback, Adam Baker. Decided to keep it himself and literally flipped his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. And with the point after attempt, the kick is up high, straight down the middle and good. This score is all of a sudden all tied up at seven apiece. Jeremy, what was looking like a, so far a pretty dominant performance by the Mustangs is all of a sudden a tied ball game. On the kick return, now Britt Nerman gets about 12 on the return, first out of 10 Mustangs, but Jeremy, should the Mustangs all of a sudden become concerned here as this score is tied? Well, Chris, I'd be concerned, especially if the Mustang offense doesn't get rolling here. Britt Nerman now on the pitch left, not able to turn the corner on that play. It's gonna bring up now second and about eight for the Mustangs. Mustangs fairly conservative on offense tonight. And off goes to Britt Nerman again. Britton tries to make a spin. He's able to muscle his way forward for a few extra yards. There's a flag on the play though. Let's see what the flag is. And it's holding against the Mustangs. Definitely not gonna help their offensive performance. What would have been a third down and about two is now a second down and 17 for the Mustangs. Mustangs with all of a sudden this game, this game tied at seven apiece. Looking a little uh, panicked out there on offense. We're here now in the fourth quarter. First play of the fourth. Handoff goes up the middle. Bruno Nerman able to leap his way forward for some yardage, but still well short. That play basically was just a set up Set up a motion now. Play here, returned by Bruce Robinson. And Bruce stopped. Now it's uh, fourth down, fourth down and about 12. A 
Mustangs forced to punt. On the bounce, the South return man actually makes a nice return. Gets out some good field position at midfield. South now all of a sudden here, just into the fourth quarter, has good field position and a chance to take the lead in tonight's contest. South hands off to the running back Brown who was stopped after about a two yard gain. It's gonna bring up second down and eight for the Spartans. And South now, quarterback Baker on the play action, looks right, throws right, and oh, the pass was tipped up. Mustangs had a chance to come up with the interception, but not able to get there in time. Ball falls to the ground, third down now, and eight for the Spartans. This could be the biggest third down of the contest so far for the Mustangs, as they want to stop any South momentum. South's Baker on the scramble, he decides to keep it and is tripped up. Nice job by the Mustangs to not give up pursuit and not give up the big play to Baker. It's gonna bring up a fourth down and about six. For the Spartan, the Spartan set up now for the punt. There's the snap and there is the punt. And it's fair caught by Britt Nerman. Mustangs will take over now with only six minutes and 56 seconds left to go with tonight's contest. Mustangs all of a sudden involved in the nail biter. Handoff goes to Ertman. Mustangs offense cons extremely conservative tonight. So far we've seen a pretty good balance of pass and run, but tonight it's really been Almost all Britt Nerman for the offense for the Mustangs. And QB keepers as Esparza runs up the middle. In fact, Esparza had the first touchdown of the tonight's contest with the QB keeper. Esparza now under center. Thus back hands off to Britt Nerman. Britton who follows his blockers nicely on that play. Gets about five. He can bring up second down now for the Mustangs. And it's Esparza on the QB keeper again for another first down. Back to back plays now. We've seen uh, Ertman get good yardage on first down, and Esparza get the first down on second on the QB keeper. It's Britton again on first down for about two yards, but it looked like I may have seen a penalty flag thrown in there. Let's see what the call is. We're here in the fourth quarter with this score tied at seven apiece. And it's a hold against the Mustangs. Huge call late in this contest. Mustangs back now. Repeat a second down. Handoff goes to Stewart Sackwick. Stewart got about, let's say, four yards on the carry. Blessings and offense need to get something going here. As we got a play action fake, as Barza gets the ball off before being brought down. Nice job by Eric Esparza, despite having a defender's hands wrapped around him, he was able to get the pass off. Still, third down and long situation though. Esparza now on the pass on the right hand side. Kevin Kelly with his first reception of the night. Comes up with a nice catch right at the 50 yard line. Fourth down situation though still for the Mustangs. Fourth and about four, so the Mustangs will punt. And it's a nice punt that sails out of bounds. And the Mustangs get a better spot this time. Ball is spotted at the 23. 
the Spartans will take over first down and 10 with only four minutes and 32 seconds left to go in the contest. The Spartans on first down. It's a running back screen and the running back falls down. Big play, the screen play was working for number 20, Devon Brown, but he slipped in the backfield and lost about three yards. Huge break for the Mustangs. Second down and 13. Mustangs hoping for some big defensive subs to get the ball back here with a chance to end this one. But it's quarterback Baker on the play action fake and pass falls incomplete. Well behind his intended receiver. It's gonna bring up now third down and 13 for the Spartans. Spartans not able to do much at all offensively tonight. Yet they're still in this game tied at seven. Baker now on the scramble. He looks deep and he has a man deep on the left hand side who's gonna get in for the touchdown. A broken play that might break the back of the Mustangs. That's number 20, the running back, Dylan Brown, straight down the right hand side of the field. Touchdown, Spartans. Mustangs players stunned as the Spartans go up now with the point out attempt 14 to 7 with only minutes left to go in this contest a huge break for the Spartans Mustangs now forced to come back after basically dominating this game they now trail by seven return man Kelly this time Kevin gets about 17 on the return, gets a nice return, but the Mustangs forced to basically march the entire field to try to tie this contest up after they basically dominated it for four quarters. What about Kisbarza now? On, on first down, passes, tempt up to uh, Tim Mobley, but pass was a little bit behind Tim, pass was dropped. I'm sorry, that's Trevor, Trevor Koppel out there. Pass just behind Trevor, not able to come up with it. Second down and 10 now for the Mustangs. Rebecca Sparza on the play action. Rolls right, throws right, completes right. Mustangs all of a sudden with two minutes and 51 seconds left to go. Trail by seven, and on the third down and short play, it's quarterback Esparza not able to get much. Let's see if he got enough. In fact, he did. Got just enough. First down and 10 Mustangs. Mustangs keeping this drive alive. And Mustangs take the timeout. Now, if the Mustangs score, Chris, on a touchdown, it'll be an interesting call to see if head coach Don Morrow will go for two for the win or one for the tie. Two minutes and 17 seconds left to go. It will definitely be an interesting call. As far as a back to pass, and skips one out to look like that was They've been uh, number five, Bruce Robinson. Pass is incomplete, second down and 10 now for the Mustangs. Esparza now under center. Drops straight back, he's looking middle and throws middle. And completes middle, deep middle. Don't know how that one got to Britt Nerman. Great pass and reception. First and 10 Mustang. Yeah, Chris, let's take another look at this play as we see that number 31, Britt Nertman, is triple covered, but excellent touch on the ball by number nine, Erica Sparza, putting it in the only place where Britt Nertman had the only shot of getting the ball. And great concentration by Britton to not only make the reception, 
but still stay on his feet and finally brought down about another five yards after the reception. Great job on the combination Esparza to Erton. Huge play now with the Mustangs trying to tie this score up as they trail 14 to seven here in the fourth quarter with only minutes left. Quarterback to Esparza now, I have formation, under center, drops back, drops straight back, he looks left, goes left, and he has a man wide open in the end zone, it's Kevin Kelly for the touchdown. Mustangs with the chance to tie this score up, or go up by one, let's see what the coaching staff does, but either way, great job by Esparza, who had been quiet on the passing all night long, comes up with two huge plays, Touchdown, Mustang. And the Mustangs will go for one and the tie with Joe Houston set up. And Joe's kick is up, down, straight, and good. Clutch kick by Joe Houston to at least secure a tie. There's still one minute and 34 seconds left to go in this contest. A lot of things can happen in that short amount of time. Mustangs more than anything making sure to not give up the big play. And the Mustangs kick off. It's a short kick. Fielded by the Spartans, but tackled quickly. Nice job by the Mustangs job, defense. Man. Not allowing any big return. Forcing a long field drive for the Spartans. Spartans now with quarterback Baker in shock and high snap takes it nicely. Throws out to the left hand side and knocked away beautifully. Great job on defense on the Mustangs. Chris sets number four, Nick. Cherkow, Nick with the big play, knocking the pass down, second down and 10 south. Baker now throwing deep, and throwing too far ahead, good coverage. Nice job by the Mustangs, number two, Trevor Cobble. Trevor's been playing some great corner all year for the Mustangs. Came up with a big play on that one. Threw down and 10 for the Spartans. The Spartans taking a timeout. They want to make sure they have the right third down play. As with two quick pass attempts incomplete, not much time has actually come off the clock here. Mustangs, if they can come up with a big stop on third down, may actually have another attempt to get this ball back and see if they can win this one. Baker now in shotgun. Huge third down play. Baker on the scramble. Not much going on. He's going to try to keep it at his tackle. Nicely. Great job. Eric Esparza with the big third down play. Mustangs will have another chance to win this contest. Yeah, Chris. Eric Esparza, number nine, the quarterback slash linebacker, has come up huge in the second half, both at quarterback and now at linebacker, and that will force the Spartans to punt with only a minute nine left. One minute and nine seconds is more than enough to get something going, at least, if anything, try to get in Joe Houston's field goal range. Joe not caught upon to uh, win the contest in the, uh, the last uh, season and a half here for the Mustangs as uh, the Mustangs have traditionally rolled over their opponents, but Joe will get the chance to be a hero tonight. Looks like he may have an opportunity if the Mustangs can get at least somewhat of a drive going. And it's a bad punt. That takes a huge Mustang bounce. Great break for the Mustangs. That ball bounced about 10 yards backwards. Mustangs will take over with great field position. As far as now on the play action fake. Rolls left, goes left, and the pass falls incomplete. 
Gonna bring up second out and 10 now for the Mustangs. Huge play, all the players are pumped out. Momentum definitely on the Mustang side. As the Spurs are hands off to Britton Irwin. Britton with the big run right up the middle. He's got close to the first down. Let's double check the spot. And it looks like he's just short on the first down. By the way, a big run. Third down and short for the Mustangs. Let's see if they can convert on this huge third down. It's a play action fake. It's a pass, and it's complete on the right hand side. Oh! Just dropped. Officials are going to rule it incomplete. Fourth and one. Tough call here. Ball spotted on the 34, just out of the range. Mustangs go for it on fourth and one. It looks like they have it. Guess what play? QB keeper Eric Esparza using that linebacking frame. The Pirates wait for it for the first down. He got it. Huge play. First down and 10 now for the Mustangs. Mustangs take the timeout. Only 20 seconds left to go. Jeremy, an exciting contest. Yeah, Chris, what a great play by the Mustangs to convert that fourth down conversion. However, they used their last timeout. So if they're going to get into Joe Houston's field goal range, they're going to have to complete something near the sideline. Mustangs now with two receivers on the left-hand side. Let's see if the play goes that way. In fact, it does. It's a partial rollout. The pass goes to the left. And it's batted down by the Spartan defense. 14 seconds left to go. Second down and 10, but the, the second down factor is really not part of the equation anymore at this point, with only 14 seconds left to go. Let's see what the Mustangs can do. As far as the back to pass, he's looking middle. He's throwing on the right-hand side. He completes to Tim Mobley. I'm sorry, to uh, Bruce Robinson. Mustangs trying to get down there to spike the ball. Luckily, the, the clock does stop when the chains are being moved. They see the Mustangs can get the spike down in time. And they do! Great job by the Mustangs offense. They get up to the line of scrimmage, spike the ball down. They are definitely in Joe Houston field goal range. Jeremy, an exciting contest with Joe Houston with a chance to win it. Yeah, Chris, the big play that I noticed on that play was number 66 Justin Reese who appeared to be a little bit shaken up after that play but he was still able to get down and get set and enable the Mustangs to stop the clock with the spike of the ball as South Torrance calls timeout to attempt to ice number 32 Joe Houston. Great job on the reception by Bruce Robinson. He wanted to get out of bounds, but there's no way the Spartan defense was going to let him give him a chance to do that. So he just made sure he got the first down, which automatically stops the clock anyway. And great job of the Mustangs to get the spike down. It all comes down now to number 32, Joe Houston. As South Torrance takes a second timeout. They are definitely trying to get into the head of kicker Joe Houston. Only three seconds left to go. This will be the last play of the game. It's either a tie or Joe Houston with the win. The kick is up. The kick is down the middle. It's straight enough. Is it long enough? It is. It's a field goal, Mustangs. Mustangs win this contest 17 to 14 on a dramatic last second field goal by Joe Houston. Jeremy, an incredible contest. Great job, great comeback by the Mustangs as Joe Houston's parents celebrate. Proud parents they are tonight. Amazing victory. Jeremy, what did you think about this game? Well, Chris, in all my years of being involved with Miracosta football, and that's 20 years from being a player, a fan, 
uh, announcer, a coach. I have never seen the Mustangs win on a last second field goal. And to see it this time was just an incredible finish to a great game. Great job by number 32, Joe Houston, by finishing it off. And the streak is alive. 23 consecutive league wins still intact and still going on as the Mustangs come from behind with a late score and a last second field goal to take this contest. Great job, Mustangs. Great poise down the stretch. Mustangs win this contest by the score of 17 to 14. I'm Chris Lee, alongside with Jeremy Sadowski. We're signing out, and we'll see you next week.